Hello everybody, this is Satan and welcome to another episode of Cyberpunk 2077. Uh, today I want to do a little side mission. I actually already did it and now I am replaying it to show you guys. This mission actually starts with a call that we get from Elizabeth Perales and she's asking us to meet with her and her husband and we're doing the... just that. Yeah, Please that's me. Step in the vehicle. Thanks. Okay. Hello V, I'm Jefferson Perales. Hello. You've already spoken with Elizabeth, my wife. Carter, let's go. Elizabeth? Well, as you're probably aware, Mayor Lucius Rhine recently passed. Actually, I'm not. We want to know how, why, whatever else is pertinent. As far as I know, case is closed already. It is. Of course, the police wrote it off as natural causes. Rhine passed at home due to a cardio implant malfunction. But we're left wondering about the cyber psycho attack at City Hall. Obviously. The police say it was completely unrelated. In any case, we have the cyber psycho attack on a BD. Oh, cool. Our chief of security scanned it, but didn't find anything out of the ordinary, so to She's speak. She's pretty. We need a brain dance editor. I mean, he's a real not one. bad looking either. It's raw footage. Okay, let's right. let's do it. See what I can do. Brain dances Excellent. are cool. We'd be happy with any find that would clarify things, alleviate. Lingering doubts. And this time, don't go scrolling every ass you see. Eyes on the mayor. Oh, stars good. Stuck. Who's the Hulk guy? No idea. Those ass clowns are all the same. My room at the Red Queen's race is ready. Yes, of course. Red Queen's race. Cause any inner synapse zaps? Sure, a bunch of old Brit farts and powdered wigs shouting off with their heads. You know, you're allowed to say you don't have a clue. They left literally seconds before the attack. And it looks planned, like it was done on purpose. Slow your roll. Re reward, NCPD. Gotta speak to the mayor's chief of security. Preem, do it after the conference. The cop wanted to tell security something. Probably that he was standing by to lick Ryan's butthole. Oh my god, Johnny! Come on. Terminal crashed right as he went through the gate. Yeah, glitch is no accident. Do it after the conference. <laughs> the tune. Don't recognize it. He's really into it. Could have chromed half the city with what he was packing. Okay, we got everything. You're here. Fantastic. Well, I was here all the time. Whole thing stinks worse than Coronado Bay in July. Huh. So suspicions confirmed. Any questions at this point? Uh, the the policeman. Oh, okay. Cop who saved Ryan. Know anything about him? Detective River Ward. Good guy. We worked a few cases together. You want to talk to him? I'll put you in touch. Either has crazy good luck or had a source. Got good info. I'm gonna need some of each. Well said. I'm gonna call this guy. Ah, shit! Oh, come on. This is Ward. Who am I talking to? Name's V. Looking into the death of one Lucius Ryan. Wonder why? You're not a cop. Listen, I know you tried to warn Ryan about the cyber psycho. What else do you know? Oh, I know a lot of things. Best meet with me. All right. I'm headed to Chubby Buffaloes. What name is that? Stat. Chubby Buffalo? Hello? Someone here to see you, looks like. Oh, wonder what about? V, right? My partner, Detective Hum. Yo. Okay. Thanks for agreeing to me. You really he looks intend cool, to actually. Mark. Don't know what I intend just yet. For now, I'm gonna see if I hear anything new about Ryan's death. You back on that? Boss already told you to drop it. And you two at least find a quieter corner? Wouldn't want to be overheard. Okay. Okay. Boomer. I see Detective Hans not a fan of edge runners. Don't take it personally. Detective Hans not a fan Dude, of anybody. Dude, he's buff. Look Except at his neck. You know what? Han was right. Acoustics are a little too good in here. Got my car outside. Okay, let's go. Okay, sure. If you ignore him completely and go to his car, he will teleport. Some of the boys from the precinct saw Horvath around Arroyo, shooting up dumpsters, hollering how he's got to meet with the mayor. 
brought him in. Brought who in? Peter Horvath. Cyber psycho who attacked the mayor later. They took him downtown, but then he got lost before they could get his statement. Said he got lost. How's that happen? What's it mean? It means someone didn't want him counting roaches in a cell that day. Why is Perales looking at this now? Why does he want it done unofficial on the Hush Hush? As I see it, Perales is out to smear Holt. So he thinks Holt's involved? I know, but even if he's not, the murdered mayor isn't great optics for his deputy. I mean, they might be just, you know, scared for uh, themselves, but I want to get this Ray over Queen's with, race. so I'm not gonna choose that option. Anything about it? Know what it is? Maybe I have. Maybe I do. It got anything to do with Ryan? The guy was headed there the day he died. <sighs> Fine. We're gonna see my CI. All I've heard is some fancy ass club. No idea where to even look for it. CI might know. Uh, let's meet with the let's informant. Informer. Because honestly, be. going to the market doesn't me. do anything. I mean, we don't really learn anything new, so I might as well ignore it. I'll wait outside. Okay. Tell him Igor says hi. He'll know what it's about. Wait here then. If you say so. Yo. You're looking for a uh, general inspiration or something specific? Oh, did you look at his moves? Igor says hi. Fuck no. Said I was done. I was out. What? Come on. Uh. Leave me the fuck alone, all of you. Oh. Fuck. Hey, Neil. Piss off. Relax. Just got one question to ask you. Leave me alone, got it? You can't make me do a damn thing. Oh, I can. We can, actually, and we will. Just tell us where to find Red Queen's race. It's outside city limits. Near the river. Benita Street area. You been there? Made some deliveries. Goods. Sometimes peeps. We got no idea why you want to go poking around there. The club's empty. They shut it all down. Hmm. Shut it down. Interesting. Before or after Mayor Ryan died. Uh, soon after, I guess. Go. Okay, so the thing with River oh, well. is that... um. That's what I call a breakthrough. He's really tall, Seems I think. Like, look at him. Uh, yeah, like I said, I'm gonna ignore the market. The Seems a stronger lead to me. Come on, V. I'm going. Animals turf. Any sly cop rules for talking to him? Scratch their tummies. Don't expose your throat. Ha ha. Ah, fucking ha. As always, we have to do the dirty job. I'm just gonna. And there's the entrance. Like I said, I've already done it, so I know my way around here. And this way, we're on the roof, where we can easily get in. Looks like a normal body shop to me. Club's here. I'm telling you. I think we're good to go. Hello? Oh, look! Whoa. Stairs inside. <laughs> Clever. And we are at the club. Straight up. Hate it. Curtis and Ben. Now they're His friend won't mind that the conversation suddenly ended. Now we go upstairs. We can safely go here. Uh huh. And bang. Looks like an office. Sort of. Why? Comps are what we want. Comps above all. Why are you watching this dump? Now I know the. the I'm sorry. I know there's two conversations that overlap, that. but uh, we're fucking waiting for what? Till they send us the scratch for a job well done. Smash it up pretty fucking good, didn't we? Who'd you smash it up for? What's it to you? Might be able to speed up your payment. Well, then. Oh, <gasps> scandalous. Right Thanks for the help. And a computer. Yep. Stiff as a board. Look, you who is it? Been dead at least an hour. Coroner will find him at home. I'll tell him how to write it up. Died in his sleep, quiet as a baby. Boys are getting him out of here. Of course, nobody will see him. River, found some footage. You're gonna want to see this. Kenilus, right? Your way. Who would have thought? covered up the true circumstances of Ryan's death. My chum. Get out of there, V. I'm gonna ping him. 
tell him to meet at Chubby Buffalo's. And we're going straight there. Still hanging around with this punk? Shut, Shut up. Harold. I know what you did. Just want to know. Who gave you the order? What's the matter, River? Why do you even care? Your conscience is clear. You can sleep tight at night. You know why? Because I took all the responsibility. Oh, look at you, hero. I know the game NC makes you play. I know the rules. But there's a line. Not every order is worthy of being followed. Let me tell you when I'll stop doing what I'm told. When I retire. So, since even our brass's fingers are all over this, I gotta take it to internal. They won't do a thing either. Not to me. They'll put you in their sights, though. Just go home, or Get some sleep. Uh, actually, I think it goes way deeper than that. It, like, it's it's way more complex, so... No, it wasn't like that. Not but I have quite. no idea how so it is. Happened? Dunno. <laughs> just feel like this goes deeper than you, me, Han, and Holt. I'm gonna stay. Observe a little. Thanks, V. No problem. Got a pretty good idea what happened. I have no idea what right. happened. Goodbye, <laughs> please. Case is pretty complex. Leaves a lot of questions unanswered. I'd rather not draw any conclusions yet. Yeah, I think it's but uh, you way must have an opinion. more complex. Jeff, honey, read between the lines, and that's enough for me. We have to be careful. Very careful, Jeff. Yeah, be that's safe. That's what V's trying to tell us. Okay, so um, that's it for this quest for now. But I sure hope there's uh, more to it. You don't believe in the fate. Uh, every day digging the grave. Uh, stepping up here with snakes. Uh, city of dreams, city of gang. V, glad you could make it. Jefferson? Grab a seat, please. I'll explain why I asked you to come over. We've had a break in. Not the usual kind, though. So unusual how? A couple of days back, dead of night, something wakes me. A noise. I grab my pistol and come Obviously. out of the bedroom. See a stranger. He looks like he's about to reach for it. So I pull the trigger. Nail him? No idea. My head started spinning and I passed out. No trace of him the morning after. Of course, we notified SSI about the incident. Our private security. Security looking at this. Say anything? This is where things get a little weird. They claim there's no sign of a break-in or of a shot being fired. Hmm. Security cams didn't record anything. Said you passed out. That's right. Just after I fired. What then? Nothing. I woke up in bed the next morning. This, um, security outfit. SSI. Who are they? If memory serves, they came recommended. An acquaintance. You think SSI might be behind this? Well, that or someone hiding behind SSI. Wouldn't mind taking a look around the apartment. Of course. Liz can give you the tour. Gotta run to a meeting. As soon as you learn anything, let me know. Thank you. Blood stains. Not quite scrubbed clean. Where's the blood from? It yours? I'm 100% sure it's not ours. Maybe the intruders? Bullet holes. Cocked up. Someone tried to patch up the bullet holes. Assuming neither of you had anything to do with this. No, of course not. Odd. Text practically prehistoric. But it doesn't look older than a day. Let's look around. See if we can't spot where our receiver's camping out. Hmm. Used meds. Christ. I think we're safe putting your security at the top of our list of suspects. Talking to yourself again? Wonder how long they've been keeping this from you. Oh, my head. Well, you okay? Wrong? Don't worry about me. Do what you have to do. Broken. It was fine a couple days ago. We rarely use it, though. Weird hardware. What's it for? Connected to the wall mounted screens. Wonder where else these cables run. Well, I can fix it for them. <laughs> what was that? No fucking clue. Felt kind of good, but weird. Like tripping on acid. Mm -hmm. That happened to the screen a lot. Or to any of the others. I don't understand. What just happened a second ago? 
You didn't see it? No. Got a vision of the receiver. Black van parked next to it. Gotta be our winner. I knew it. Oh shit. Pierced it, we're in. Couldn't ask the NCPD for better records than this. Pictures, medical records, some kind of database. Brain scans, the paralysis, biological wow. casts, neuroplasticity. They're not spying on them, Johnny. They're fucking with their heads. They're planting new memories in their heads, modifying their personalities. This is big shit, Johnny. Shit. They're wiping the data. We've been made. Now they know someone's been in their database. Well, obviously, and we don't have any proof. Could. Okay, you're gonna want to sit down for this. You're being brainwashed. Literally. They've scanned your minds, now using some kind of conditioning to... Wait! Not on the hollow. You and I... We need to speak alone. Why? I know a little ramen place in Japantown. Sending you the coordinates. Thank you for coming. <laughs> what? <laughs> What's happening? Everyone's just looking at me. Except this guy, he doesn't give a fuck. Uh, uh a while ago, I started Stop. noticing some changes in Jeff's behavior. His personality. Oh my God, I can look at them. He seemed to be changing right in front of me. He stopped reading, forgot the title of his favorite movie. Even his musical taste changed overnight. I said we should visit his brother's grave, and he told me that he'd been an only child. Oh no. On several occasions, my friends pointed out that I was acting strangely. You haven't told me the whole story yet, have you? I saw a stranger in our apartment one night tinkering with the monitors. But I was in such a state by then that I didn't know if I could trust my own eyes. So you didn't do anything? I don't remember what happened. And then, the next day, I got a call. Who was it? Them. Whoever they are. Oh. I was told that our perfect lives could fall apart at any minute. That I have my husband's safety to think about. After, there was no record of the call. It was as if it had never happened. Jefferson can't find out about any of this, ever. His life depends on it. You gonna ignore this? Somebody poking around in your heads? What choice do I have? To get myself killed? Or see my husband dragged away from me. I'm going to tell Jeff that SSI was spying for his rival, Holt. You just need to confirm what I say. What? Yeah? It doesn't matter what you tell him. It doesn't matter what you think of doing or do. You can't change anything. Uh, what? We know who you are. We know what you are. We know what you want. You are playing with fire. Don't dare cross the line. Oh, I will. <laughs> Elizabeth, what did she tell you exactly? Didn't get specific. Just that SSI was spying for that son of a bitch Holt. Guess you got more though. SSI wasn't working for Holt. You're in deeper shit than you think. They're in your heads, Jefferson. I know we're probably. Here's an Elizabeth's. I know they this they might die, but I want to know what's going metaphor. on. Strange dreams, partial recall, jumbled memories. It's not just stress and long hours. They forged your views, personality, even that skepticism that pisses me off so much. Clearly what they want is for you to be their mayor. Fuck. I need to remember who recommended SSI to me. Your memories. Can't even trust those anymore. I won't let them get away with this. I'll wait for my window. An opportunity. Then make my move. Isn't that exactly what they want? Take care of me. Good no, luck. Thanks. Hmm, somehow I doubt it's people who are behind this. So aliens? <laughs> Very funny. You're too young to remember this, but not so long ago, people talked about rogue AIs prowling cyberspace. So, not aliens. He's probably gonna do shit and get himself into trouble. 
and he's probably gonna die because of me. So I will see you all next time, and bye everybody.